of, uh, you know, we've been doing it for the most part, conference tournaments and, uh, you know, this tournament. We've just really been executing, and, and we just wanted to relay that to the team, just to make sure we take care of ourselves, play where our feet are, not get the moment too big. I told them before the game in our meeting, like, it is going to be earned today, no matter what, you know. Um, you know, when the season's on the line for, for against a really good team, um, you just got to earn every single thing. And they did an unbelievable job of putting the ball in zone, keeping us at bay, um, and, you know, Fortunately, we came out on top today. And so we can start with the pitching here. As, as I'm sure Greg has thought about this game in this moment, uh, yeah. even even not even not back to his junior year. Right. You know, it's a complete game victory in the opening yeah. round last year. Yeah. He has lived for this moment. And for him to be pulled out of this contest in a mm-hmm. losing effort, not that anything that he did wrong right. today, how tough was that for you to do? Uh, it, it's not tough. I mean, it's, it's what we have to do, and our players expect to – you know, for us to make the decisions and um, you know he was out there and not happy but he understood and you know it was the right left on left guy had Greg had missed three times three of that yeah. into that guy it was the the pitch that he could hit I wasn't gonna let our season game end on something that I knew we could go with and he did an unbelievable job I think it was seven and a third yeah seven and a third and you know just he walked the guy right before that um, you know it's time to time to let the other guys go and um, you know Cliff House unfortunately walked him but he did exactly what he was supposed to do um, and then Big Swain came in and shut the door. It was it was probably would have been one of the most disappointing stories ever if that's the last time we see Greg. Ruth. I know that we still would have had to sure. melt tomorrow, but yeah. but for him to walk off and pitch the way he did was just was just so heartbreaking for this team and for him. But the Grizzlies rallied. Cord Johnson gets that double mm-hmm. in it in the eighth. What kind of life and momentum did that give this dugout? Oh, I mean, and, and really just kind of going back to Greg, I mean, he kept us there. I yeah. Mean, we had, I mean, you know, nothing that he didn't do anything bad. He was at 115 or yeah. 118 pitches. I mean, he pitched his butt off to give Cord the opportunity to be able to go – and, um, you know, Burgess, I think, got hit by pitch. Yep. I'm a little foggy right now. But, um, <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> um, but I, I think the Burgess got on, and then um, we had to double down the line. And, and you know, it per- it started that, that rally because if, if Greg's not doing what he's supposed to do for the first seven and a third, we, uh, we have a problem, uh, you know, just being down one run. And so we go to the bullpen uh, with Matthew Swain. We t- first of all, we, we tied up in the right, with, with that bases yep. with the Fraser walk there. And a lot of confidence in Swain going back Absolutely. out there to Absolutely. take down the Tigers. And, and he does what, what he does. I, I, I don't even know where to start from, uh, uh, from, a, from a Brody fun. Wofford standpoint. Yeah. Because how many balls has he hit this week right. so hard that ended up in the gloves of outfielders? Is there anything you can do or talk to that guy or any sort of approach? Or is he seeing the baseball like a beach ball and you just leave him alone? Sure. No, I mean, it, 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 at at the moment in time in the game, we're just trying to hunt fastball. We're trying to hunt that ball. We're trying to put the ball in play. Um, not try to do too much because I think we stressed that a little bit earlier. Sure. We had some events happen in the second inning um, emotionally that we just kind of had to back that down a little bit. Um, but at the end, those guys are are ready. They're prepared. Um, you know, and, and at the end of the day, you got to have a big hit. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm so happy for him and for his family and for our, our program that, that he was able to put that ball on the road. Um <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that ball was absolutely man, but I, I lost consciousness after that. Well, so um. I, I want to put things in one one more perspective. Question is, you 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 you've been coaching here for seven years as an right. assistant. You've been seeing all levels of baseball at a lot of different levels. Have you seen a bigger home run in your coaching oh, career? No, I mean, not not even close. I mean. <laughs> it's the stuff of childhood dreams, you know. You hit the home run an echo to in go here. to the World Series. Like, yeah, it's it's the only thing that would have made it better as would be a walk off. Yeah. Um, but I think that the anticipation after that of trying to get the three outs, you know, it puts Swain in that position where you know he goes back out, and I'm not exactly sure what happened, but um, <laughs> I think that he struck out one or two. Um, <laughs> struck out two. And so, <laughs> so tell the story. Why why do you not know what Swain did in the so, night? So, so what happened was is that Brody hit the first pitch onto the road and so we all started <laughs> jumping and excited and all that stuff and so I jumped as high as I could when he hit it and I, I caught my foot on the, the bottom part of the stair um, and, and when I landed I felt my Achilles completely pop and roll up all the way back of my uh, my calf so then I, I stepped I kept celebrating and I walked down to the end we have um, so a wonderful fire department 31 going at fire 31 yeah they were down there we have good training staff um, so I sat down a little bit. I passed out for I, – I didn't see Garland's at bat. And then I came back, too, when they were kind of pushing me. I just felt hot. And, 
So, anyways, they got surgery on Friday. It's already set up. So, we'll get surgery. We'll get on so, the plane on so Monday this, or Tuesday. So this, so this was our perspective. Brody Walford hits the, the game, you know, the go-ahead game home run, his 10th home run of the season over here. And I see our trainer, Adam Lucassian, sprint into the building. And I'm like, that's kind of odd. Yeah. And first of all, any time a medical personnel is sprinting is, is not a good sign. <laughs> well, then I see a pair of white pants sitting in the, in the dugout and a leg sticking out. Yeah. And I'm like, somebody got hurt in the celebration. Yeah. Well, I start looking, and I see our whole starting nine. I see Swain. <laughs> I see Greg. And then I see three laughing hysterically. And I go, oh, no. So I started doing the head count with the coaches. Yep. And this is live on air, by the way. And then you come limping down the limping down the oh, hallway yeah. of the dugout. And I go, Strom hurt himself. Yeah. Oh, it popped. I mean, I felt you torn know, Achilles. You, yeah. we can, breaking news yeah. here on the Grizzly Digital yeah. Network: Head baseball coach Brad Stromba has torn his Achilles in the opening round championship in route so, to Lewis and Idaho. Going back to Brody, it makes that story a little bit better. Oh, that's exactly sure. what I told so John. He hits I said the, the good one at home run. I pop my Achilles. I got to have surgery tomorrow. The next day. Um, but you know what? I'll blow out Achilles every single time of the week <laughs> to, to go, go to, to the, the World, World Series. Series. So. So it's all good. I mean, we're going to have some pain tomorrow, but I'm so happy for our program and for, for our administrators and for you. I'm sure that was a heck of a call. Do you, do you feel that right there? Oh, yeah, we're good. So okay, far. all right, so just far. checking. We're still Because the still adrenaline is going to weigh off, Absolutely. and you're going to be in so much pain, but it's going to feel so good. That's no, great. I mean, it's it's what we live for, and, um, you know, it's just an accident. It happens, and um, <laughs> <laughs> just a good story here in about, uh, you know, a month and a half. But I'd like to w go in and try to win the national title now. That, so. uh, that would make the pain go away absolutely, absolutely yep. completely. Coach, congratulations. Thanks, Third Matt. trip in seven years to Lewis.